Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you're all fine. Today our lesson is about minerals. I'm going to talk about minerals. Before we start our lesson today, I want you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos to come. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the uh, minerals, okay? Uh, minerals are just like uh, vitamins. Minerals help your body to grow, develop, stay healthy. The body uses minerals to perform many different functions, from building strong bones to transmitting nerve impulses. Some minerals are even used to make hormones or even maintain a normal heart beat. So they are very important to our body. And so they are called, we call them essential minerals. We call them essential minerals. Sometimes they are divided into macro minerals and, or, and micro minerals. These two groups, okay? Let's see now. Here we have nutrients are divided into macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are those which the body needs in large amounts, like protein, fats, carbohydrates. Micronutrients are those minerals or are those uh, nutrients that are needed in small amounts like macro minerals, vitamins, mac micro minerals. So macro means large amounts, micro means small amounts of minerals, and then we have vitamins, okay? So we're going to talk each one in details now. So minerals, the, their function and their sources, okay? So let's, as we said there, that minerals are divided into macro minerals and micro minerals. Macro, they are needed in large amounts in our body, and micro, they are needed in small amounts. Let's start with the macro minerals. So this is also a classification. These are the macro minerals and these are the micro minerals. Okay, let's start one by one now. Uh, so here we say, as we said, our macro minerals are the minerals uh, your body needs in large amounts and your body needs just small amounts of trace elements uh, of trace minerals or micro minerals macro minerals like sodium sodium is needed for proper fluid balance e uh, nerve transmission and muscle contraction they are found in soya sauce table salt vegetables bread milk and meat okay Chlorine are needed for proper fluid balance and stomach acid uh, and they are found in so chlor chlorine is found in milk, meats, bread and vegetables. Potassium needed for proper fluid balance, nerve transmission and muscle contraction and they are uh, found in meat, uh, potassium is found in meat, uh, milk, fresh fruits, vegetables and whole grains. Let's go next now. Calcium. Calcium, of course, it's very important for our health uh, because they are important for the bones, teeth, and help the muscles to relax and contract. Important in nerve functioning, blood clotting, blood pressure regulation, and immune system health. And calcium is found, of course, in milk and salmon, sardine, soya milk, green, uh, uh, green uh, vegetables like broccoli, Okay, and mustard uh, greens. Okay, let's go now to phosphorus. It's very important uh, for healthy bones and teeth found in every cell, part of the, uh, part of the system that maintains the acid-base balance. They are found in meat, fish, and uh, chicken, eggs, milk, and processed food. Magnesium, let's go to the next. Magnesium is found in bones, needed for making protein, muscle contraction, nerve transmission, in, uh, immune system health, and they are found in leafy, leafy green vegetables, uh, seafood, chocolate, uh, art, uh, artichokes, and uh, hard, drink, uh, hard drinking water. Okay, sulfur, last, lastly, found in protein molecules. They are uh, sorry. Its function is found. It's found in protein molecules, and um, it occurs in uh, foods as part of protein, like meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and legumes, 
nuts. These are the different types of vitamins, as you can see now. Let's go to microminerals. They are those uh, the body needs uh, trace minerals in very small amounts. Example, first iron. Iron is uh, part of a molecule of hemoglobin found in the red blood cells and they carry oxygen in the body needed for energy metabolism. Their source, uh, the source of iron is red meat, fish, uh, egg yolk, uh, dried fruit, fruits, uh, leafy greens, bread, cereals, and so on. Uh, zinc, next, uh, is part of many enzymes needed for making protein and uh, genetic material. Has the function uh, in taste, perception, wound, healing, normal fetal development, and so on. In the, uh, also the immune system, it's very good for the immune, it's, it helps the immune system. Uh, the sources of zinc is meat, fish, poultry, and uh, vegetables. Irene is in the uh, function of the irene is found in, it's found in the thyroid hormone which helps regulate the growth, development, and metabolism. And iodine, iodine is uh, the source of iodine is seafood, uh, foods grown in iodine rich soil, iodized salts, bread, dairy products. Selenium, uh, selenium is uh, an antioxidant and is found in meat, seafood, and grains. Copper, part of many enzymes needed for iron metabolism, and the source it's uh, found in legumes, nut, nuts and seeds, uh, whole grains, or, uh, organ meats, drinking water, and manganese, part of many enzymes also, and it is found in uh, a lot of foods okay especially plant food fluorine is uh, fluoride involved in the formation of bones and teeth helps to prevent tooth decay uh, drink uh, so it's found where in drinking water fluoridated uh, so the water should be uh, has a per certain percentage of fluoride in order to uh, provide fluorine to the uh, teeth okay also uh, it's found in fish and most teeth 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 okay uh, cro uh, chromium is works closely with the insulin to regulate the blood sugar or uh, glucose level and it's unrefined it's found in unrefined foods uh, especially liver uh, yeast whole grains nuts and cheese molybdenum molybdenum is part of some enzymes uh, their sources are uh, legumes uh, bread and grains uh, and leafy greens and so and milk and liver okay so we talked today about uh, the function of each mineral all the mi micro minerals and uh, the macro minerals their function and their sources i hope that today's lesson was useful today to you and beneficial and have a healthy day please uh, try to have a healthy eat a healthy and balanced diet thank you for listening today